If the density is too packed, the trapped microparticles may collide with the nearby microparticles and lose grip from the tweezers. So the nearby microsphere may be trapped by the laser along the movement of the stage, which also collide with the trapped microparticles that we are experimenting, hence affecting the terminal velocity. Thus, we will want to use a sample that is less dense. The laboratory should be kept at cold temperature to protect the equipment. However, the elasticity of the spring will also decrease. As we were the first group to try out the optical tweezers, the setup was not fully equipped. Firstly, the stage controller could only move in one direction, which is along x-axis. Also, there is a restriction to the maximum distance that can be moved. Secondly, the control of the stage was done manually using knobs instead of keyboards, hence the movement of the microparticles was slow. But fortunately, we managed to form our desired trap pattern within the located lab hours. In conclusion, optical tweezers are valuable tools for manipulation of cell components that are in sub-microscale with the combination of fluorescence microscopy. They can also be used in the study of molecular motors like kerosene and the properties of DNA. Thank you for your attention and I hope that you have a better understanding of optical tweezers now.